Welcome to Lumion 9 Tutorial 7. In this tutorial, we will create some videos for our project. To create videos, go to the bottom right section and click on Movie. This starts up Movie Mode. To record an animation, go to one of the slots, click on the Record button. Now position your view with the QWEASD buttons to the right position and set the focal length and click on Take Photo. This is position number one. Now if you want to keep the camera in this position and just show the scene with some animation, you can click again. But if you want the camera to another position, you can double click the second position Now move to another spot. For example, closer to the house and maybe a little bit rotated. Click to take a photo. Lumion created an animation path between these two positions. If you think the camera already moves too quickly, you can increase the duration. Now we can add other positions but let's stick to these two for now. Go back to movie mode, and now we can render this clip by clicking on the Render Clip button. Here we can set the output quality level. You can start with only a few stars, and if you are happy, you can increase the number of quality stars. Keep this at 30 frames per second for now. Now let's make a movie of this, starting with a low resolution, 1280 by 720, movie one, and now one by one, the frames are created for this movie and blend it together into an animation video. I'll speed up the output to get on with the rest. So here we have the first version of our video. Just like we saw in the photo mode, we can add styles to this. Click on the style button, say realistic, and now add a real skies effect to it. Just like we saw in photo mode, we need to add reflection planes for the maximum quality reflection, especially this large plane. Create the video again. Maybe do it full HD this time. We will speed up the processing time in the video just to show the results a bit more quickly. Here we see the result. Just like we saw in photo mode, we can disable certain effects or change them. Or delete them. Or go back to the original setting. You can animate certain effects. For example, to animate the clouds, go to FX sky and clouds. To set the first position, enter a keyframe by clicking on the little sinus icon on the right of the position slider. Now, move the timeline slider to the right. Click on Create Keyframe again and drag the position slider also to the right. Now, Click on the play button in the left of the timeline and the clouds will be animated from the start position to the end position. You can do the same for each property that has this little create keyframe button on its right. We can create multiple animations.
We can see a preview of the clip. Click on the clip and then on play. We can also view all clips played straight after each other by clicking on this button on the left called Entire Movie. The little white lines on the timeline indicate where the second clip starts playing. Instead of using effects and styles for each clip separately, you can use them here also for all clips. Some effects are only usable for the whole clip, like side-by-side -side 3D stereo and sound. Side-by-side -side 3D stereo allows you to render the movie for a stereoscopic display, which provides viewers with a realistic depth perception. This can be achieved in certain 3D TVs and special glasses, or with VR headsets like the Oculus Go. You can also mix static images, like photographs or drawings, with Lumion clips. And you can load other video files to get a mix between real footage and rendered clips. We can render all clips in one movie file using the Render Movie button, or just the currently selected shot. Or you can create an image sequence of all frames. And just like we saw in photo mode, we can create a depth map, normal map, specular reflection map, lighting, sky alpha, and material ID map, also for videos. These are created as frame sets. If you are good at video editing, these might come in handy. Just like we saw in photo mode, there's an option to build with FX. Now you see more closely what you will see in the video. Do all the things you normally do in build mode, but now with all the special effects visible, like the real skies and better quality shadow. Some people use Lumion with the Build with Effects option for interactive presentations to their clients. This concludes Lumion 9 Tutorial 7, where we looked at how to create movies. In the next tutorial, we will look at how to create panoramic images.